study the magic hexagon. Magic hexagon is nothing but a tool which helps us in writing the trigonometric identities very very easily. We can write many types of trigonometric identities with the help of this magic hexagon in just minutes. You have to just draw it on a, on a paper and write the identities which will help you solving mathematics and physics problem very much easily. So let's have a look at this hexagon. You have to just draw a simple hexagon first of all and write the identities, write the functions and so try to solve the identities. So let's draw it. I'm drawing a simple hexagon here. Then join the edges. And now you have to write the functions from left to right and top to bottom as in a manner which I am going to tell you now. First you have to write sine then cos tan then cot sec and then cos the important point here is you have to write the digit 1 in the middle of this hexagon which will be very important while writing these identities so i'm going to write here 1 we are going to look five types of identities in this video the first is division identity second one product identity third one reciprocal identity the fourth one is angle identity and the last one we will be looking is the pythagorean identity so let's get started with the division identities division identities in this type, you can work it with two subtypes. You have to go clockwise or, or an counterclockwise. First, we will see for going clockwise. So, you can see here, if you go clockwise from tan to cos, you will find that tan x is equal to sin x by cos x. If you go further clockwise, you will find sin x is equal to cos x by cot x. This applies for the whole magic hexagon and this makes it, makes it easy for writing the division identities in very, very simple manner. So let's have a look at the counterclockwise type now. I'll just rub it, erase it. Now for the counterclockwise identities, you can go in the same manner as we have gone for in the clockwise identities. Just you have to go from cos to tan. Now you can see, we can write here cos x is equal to sin x by tan x. Also, you can take it for here, you can write tan x is equal to sec x by cosec x. This is a very simple type of the trick which we can use in mathematics. So, next, we are going to see the product identities. This applies for this type as well. You can, you have to just make this arrow two pairs and the multiplication of these two functions is equal to the middle function. So if you write tan x into cos x, it will be equal to sin x. In the same manner, tan x into cosec x will be equal to sec x this applies for the whole hexagon and the next type in this product identities is going in opposite manner 
you can write, you can see here sin x have which is opposite to cos x the multiplication the product of these two is equal to the one which you have written in the middle of the hexagon therefore sin x into cos x is equal to one tan x into cot x is equal to one and cos x into sec x is equal to also one these were the product identities now we are going to look at the reciprocal identities which is also very very easy the reciprocal identity says that we have to go opposite in this case also just sin x is equal to 1 upon cos x the opposite factor is the reciprocal of each other sin x is equal to 1 upon cos x in the similar manner we can take it from here cos x is equal to 1 upon sec x and tan x is equal to 1 upon cortex you can write it reverse order also these were the reciprocal identities now we are going to look at the angle identities angle identities are much easier and used while solving the problem many many times you have to just make an arrow facing towards the right in these three sides of the hexagon and you will see that the first function is 90 minus x of the second function so i will tell you sin x is equal to cos of 90 degree minus x the second one is tan x is equal to cot of 90 degree minus x and the third one is sec x is equal to cosec of 90 minus x this will you can take the example for the first one sin 30 is equal to cos 60 this applies for all the three types and this is the identity which is used many many times in while solving the problems now next we are going to see the Pythagorean identity which are the rules we learn we just remember it by reading many times and sometimes we forget them but this uh, drawing this magic hexagon helps us remember it very very easily so let's have a look at them the Pythagorean identities In these types of identities, you have to go in this manner, like an like an angle, like an acute angle which is traveling clockwise in these three parts of this hexagon. So let's see for the first part. The first formula we get is sine square x plus cos square x is equal to one. So the addition of these two is equal to 1. Now let us take the another formula. You can see tan square x plus 1 is equal to 6 square x. The third formula becomes 1 plus cot square x is equal to cos x square x. 1 plus cot square x is equal to cos x square x you can also go counterclockwise in this case for example 1 minus cos square x is equal to sin square x 6 square x minus 1 is equal to tan square x and cos x square x minus cot square x is equal to 1 so friends in this manner we have seen, we have seen the 
Magic Hexagon in a very simple manner. It helps us every time we are going to solve any mathematical problem. So I'm going to just draw the Magic Hexagon once again in a simple manner so that you can draw it on your book. So take a book and draw this hexagon. It will help you many many times. I'm going to draw it bigger for your better vision, better visual and it will help you solve all types of problems in mathematics as well as physics. So you have to draw a hexagon first of all, which is a simple hexagon, connect the edges from these sides, draw right a uh, digit 1 in the middle and from top to bottom and left to right you have to just write the functions sin cos tan cot sec and cosec so friend this is the magic hexagon which helps you solve many types of problem in just few minutes